Hey guys, DLC 4 for Borderlands 3 Psycho Krieg and the Fantastic Fuster Cluck is now live and within this DLC they've added a lot of new legendary and in this video I'm going to show you guys all of the legendary guns that I was able to locate. Also a massive shout out to 2K Games, they sent me a code so I had early access to the game so I've been playing it for a little bit and I'm absolutely loving it. Also since this DLC is brand new I don't want to spoil anything for anyone so if you don't want spoilers then definitely stop the video now because I will be sharing locations and weapons that are later on in the DLC and even towards the end. But if you want to keep watching, I'll show you guys all of the new nine legendary guns that I was able to locate and where you can farm them. There might be some more legendary guns that I did not locate, but I did play this DLC twice. I feel like I've gotten everything, but again, there could be some extra hidden ones out there that I didn't find. Along with the legendary guns, they did also add four new class mods for each of the characters and two new legendary shields. I'll be making a separate video about the class mods and where to farm them, and then also the shields. The first four new legendary guns that I'm going to show you can be farmed from specific bosses early on in the DLC, and it's one of the first maps you get to called Castle Crimson. Here are the four legendaries I'm going to go over, and here are the locations of the bosses that are dedicated to drop them. The first one I want to quickly show you is a PAT Mark III up at the top there. This is farmed from a special boss that is themed after SpongeBob. This is a TDR. SMG and the PAT stands for Personal Assault Terminal, which you learn that during one of the side missions early on in the DLC. Compared to the rest of the weapons that have been added to this DLC, I wouldn't say that this one is too terribly strong. It does have some really cool effects and it does have a voice and I think that's what makes it really awesome. This does have a elemental effect of cryo and I also found one with shock and then some other versions without elemental at all. I'm not going to go over too much of the details on this because this is just a quick overview of what is in the game. I'll do other videos where I break down the weapons that I think are the best. For this one, the gray text at the bottom says thrown weapons spawn with a full magazine. For this one, whenever you reload, it does sprout legs and starts running towards the enemy doing focus fire. The elemental laser beam coming out of these looks really awesome. And the gun that you're holding actually does talk. And the ones on the ground talk as well. And it has a male's mature voice. But the one that you're holding, it sounds like a high pitched robot. Another very important thing that I'll mention is that there is a theme of duality going on throughout this DLC. You're interacting with Krieg, you're talking to his sane side and his psycho side, and they seem to be representing that dualism with the weapons that they added to this DLC. So for every legendary that they added, they created a purple epic rarity of that same weapon. And for the legendary PAT Mark III, there is a purple PAT Mark II that can be obtained from a side mission early on in the DLC. The next weapon is a tour. AR called the Lovable Rogue. I believe this one is farmed from, and I don't want to spoil anything, but I've got to let you know, there is a version of Brick in this game that you will be fighting. He's called the Evil Brick, and he seems to be the one that drops this one. I was able to locate two of these, and both of them had Shock Elemental, and with the way that it performs, it makes sense that this might be the only Elemental that you'll find with it. This one has a very cool effect, and I'll show you in just a moment, but I think with the right build, this one could do really well on Mayhem 10. So this does quite a bit of shock damage, and then down at the bottom it says gyro jets have a chance to spawn a homing missile. And the way that this gun functions is that you shoot out the gyro jets and they will stick to whatever you shot it at, enemies or even walls. And then when you reload, they explode with a shock elemental. Then right after that reload, you can see them flying out and homing in at other enemies. This is very effective when you're dealing with mobs of enemies like here in the proving grounds. And it looks really cool when you fire off the the entire magazine and let it reload on its own. You can see all the explosions and all of them homing around at other enemies. For the purple epic rarity of this legendary version, it's called the Likeable Rascal. This purple rarity was not obtained through a mission. This was actually a drop from an enemy that was considered a badass. And so I'm not entirely too sure if there's going to be other locations for this. And I don't want to say exactly where you can get this yet until I'm for sure and have more time to test. 
This next one is a brand new legendary sniper that is amazing. This thing is fully automatic and then it has a toggle where you can have a different type of firing mode. And I'll show you guys all of that in just a moment and show you the really cool effect that it has on top of that. And for all of these that you're gonna locate, you will find them with fire elemental and nothing else. Again, this thing is fully automatic with a very high fire rate and the magazine size is really small. So you gotta be careful with that trigger finger or you're gonna be reloading constantly. Here's some gameplay with it. So you're gonna find some version that will toggle into a different firing mode and this one here toggles into a shotgun. Once you toggle it to the shotgun it's going to give you seven rounds and then it shoots two at a time so it goes by very quickly and then there's a short cooldown and you'll be able to toggle to the shotgun again. There's a, another firing mode that will toggle to an RPG you get one shot and then you have to do a short cooldown and then you can toggle to it again and shoot another. This also has a third ability where when you're targeted in on enemies and shooting them it will rain down fireballs on them like you can see right there. It's definitely a cool effect and seems to be pretty frequent but if you're targeting enemies and they're moving around a lot then you probably want to build that helps with splash damage radius and splash damage because yeah it's definitely hard for those fireballs to hit them when they're all over the place. This Septimator Prime sniper can be farmed from Mordecai. He seems to be the one that is designated to drop it and he is in the Castle Crimson map next to Brick. They're in the same arena. Again there is a purple epic rarity of this legendary and it's called Septimator and this one seemed to be dropped from some badass enemies. Again, I am not 100% sure so I don't want to say anything yet until I've gone in and been able to verify it. But at this time it is not a mission item reward. You will have to farm this from a boss. This next one is really awesome. It's a doll SMG called the Starved Beast and this one has such a cool firing effect. I don't think it's as powerful as some of the other ones I'm showing, but I just love the way it looks and I love the way it performs, so it's one of my favorites. And I'm sure with the right build, this could be Mayhem 10 worthy. That's something I'll need to work on. I found this one with all of the elements except for Shock, and that probably does exist. This one is farmed from the evil version of Lilith, and she is a really tough boss fight. And this weapon is really beautiful because the E Tech barrel portion of it shows the color of the elements. Right here, I've got radiation, so it's shooting radiation colored projectiles styles and then the barrel itself is also yellow. I didn't have the right build on for this weapon to see what it can do when it's maxed out and I probably should have been shooting the incendiary version against this jabber but yeah there's a lot of potential for this thing to be amazing. I probably need to throw on my flat critical build and see what it can do. Again there is a purple epic rarity version of this called the ashen beast. You can obtain this from a side mission on the map benedict of pain and this side mission is completely bizarre. I don't want to spoil it for you guys but if you find it yeah it's pretty interesting. The next one I want to show you is a Torg pistol called the Prompt Critical and this thing is a beast. I found this one with fire, shock, and radiation elemental abilities. This one does over 17,000 times three damage and then a ton of elemental damage and then the red text is Exploder Master Master Exploder and yes it is and yes it does. The gray text down at the bottom reads subsequent stuck gyro jets combined increasing the damage and radius of the detonation. With the right build and the right anointment, this thing can make you unstoppable. And you can definitely see the effect as you lay into the enemies. You're shooting them and the health bar is just slowly going down and then all of a sudden it just disappears and they're dead. This weapon handles really nicely. I love the way it fires and I'm definitely going to make a build around this one. I've seen this drop from multiple enemies because of the world drop, but I cannot figure out which boss is designated to drop it. I'm still working on that. But this weapon is definitely Mayhem 10 worthy. Also, I'd like to point out that the camo is super cool and the epic purple rarity version of this is called Critical Mass. This is another purple rarity that is not obtained through a mission. This is going to be a drop from some boss. I'm just not sure which one yet. This next one is a Malawan shotgun called the Blind Sage. This one has a 6800 times 18 damage and it does come with all the elementals and this one toggles between radiation and fire and I've seen them where they do toggle between between like shock and corrosive and all of the other ones. This one has a special ability you can read at the bottom. Damaging enemies applies an echo debuff to the enemy for eight seconds. Killing an enemy affected by the echo debuff fires out a projectile at a nearby enemy. This is a very powerful weapon and if you have the patience for these weapons that have to charge up then this is definitely mayhem 10 worthy. And right here you're about to see that ability of that echo debuff firing off that projectile as the enemy is killed. You can see it rocketing off to the left right there and it 
it is the Radiation Elemental. This one also has a purple epic rarity version and it's called the Blind Bandit. This one toggles between Corrosive and Radiation and this one was dropped by an enemy. It is not obtained through a mission. And as far as who drops the Legendary version, the Blind Sage, I am not clear on. It was dropping as a world drop and it just wasn't really evident who was dedicated to drop this. I would be playing and I would see it drop and think, oh, this is the boss. And then I would play and kill another boss and he would drop it as well. So I'm like, I'm not sure what's going on. This next one is a Hyperion shotgun. It has a very cool effect. It's called the Convergence. This one here does 7,586 times four damage and it doesn't have an elemental ability. I do have one that does radiation and these are the only two I've found. So I'm not sure if there are other elementals. This weapon can be tricky to use and I did find a way to use it where it was really effective and I think it was mostly my build that was making it OP. With the way this thing fires, it does remind me of the complex root. It does a type of grid ricochet laser situation. There might be a more official term for that, but I'm not sure. After firing it, that grid of laser beams creates a center point where it does a lot of damage, but if your enemy is moving a lot, then it's hard to capture him in the center of all that. So I was like, well, I'm just gonna rush him, pin him, and then fire at their face while standing over them, and they were just exploding. This definitely had a lot to do with my build. I was insta-killing them on Mayhem 10, so I'm gonna have to dig through all of my equipment and see what exactly was affecting it so well. It is powerful, but again, you gotta get in the enemy's face to make it work. Same as the other legendaries that I just briefly covered, this one I cannot figure out who the boss is that is designated to drop it. And same for the purple epic rarity. It's called the Reunion, and this one was dropped by a boss, and I'm not sure who is dedicated for it. The next two legendaries I'm super impressed with. I think we now have, again, the strongest rocket launcher in the game. Every time a DLC comes out, you can always say that. And they definitely have stuck to that theme. This one is a monster. And the name is very fitting, Major Kong. It's a COV rocket launcher. This one I do know who it drops from, and this one does an incredible amount of damage. It's two times over 87,000. And then look at that radiation damage. Oh my gosh. Almost 60,000 damage per second with a 30% chance for radiation. The red text, hi there, definitely has a good backstory and makes sense with how powerful this weapon is. And it's got a plus 247% weapon damage, plus 15% weapon fire rate, a plus 360 splash damage radius. This one does consume three ammo per shot and charging increases damage and ammo cost. I'm going to do a full build on this rocket launcher with Moe's and I will go over what the red text means and all that good stuff in that video. This rocket launcher drops from the very, very last boss in the game. And I don't want to spoil anything that I don't have to, but just know that it drops from the last boss. Right here, I'm on Mayhem 10. I don't have anything in my build that's helping to support this rocket launcher whatsoever. And it was melting everything. And it one-shotted the huge big jabber that you get at the end of this area of the Proving Grounds. This DLC is brand new, so I haven't messed with this gun a lot. And I like shot it toward him. And I was like, where did he go? He like just insta poofed he was dead. Yeah, on paper, this weapon looked really good and I didn't know what to expect when using it, but I'm excited to put this Moe's build together. And just like all the others that I've been showing, this does have a purple epic rarity and it's called Minor Kong. The legendary is dropped from the very last boss and then the purple is obtained as a reward whenever you do kill him, whenever you're running the story missions. Along with this boss being designated to drop the Major Kong, he is designated to drop another weapon. This is a COV AR called the Rebound, and I really like the way this one fires, and I want to make a really good build around this one, just because it's so entertaining. The red text reads, measure twice, cut twice, and that is referring to what's coming out of this weapon, which are saw blades. This thing rapidly fires saw blades with dynamite stuck to the bottom of all of them. In addition to that, it ricochets the saw blades all over the place, and this one might take a little bit of learning on how to properly use it so that it's super efficient because yeah, these things are flying everywhere. This one has the potential to be really amazing with the right build, so I definitely will be working on that. This weapon is certainly a lot of fun to use. And there is a purple rarity version. It's called the Saw Penny, and this one is a reward item for one of the storyline missions, and it's towards the end of the DLC. But that is all nine of the legendary that I located, and then the 
matching purple rarities and there might be more i'll definitely update you guys if there is but so far all of these weapons are mayhem 10 worthy and worth going in and farming and getting i feel like they did a really good job with these weapons for this dlc but hopefully this helped you guys out and we'll see you next video ah.